wanted to do a quick review on the Sam's Club wheelbarrow that they sell both online and in the store. They've been selling this model looking pretty much identical to this for, for several years now. Prices are in the $70 range in the store. They come unassembled if you order them online and then it's kind of up to the store. Some of the stores seem to have them sold assembled and some of them have them unassembled. Here locally, now they're selling them assembled. When I bought this one a couple of seasons ago, it was unassembled and I've got to admit it was not as easy to put together as I thought it was going to be. Some of the things simply didn't line up I and mean, it was a little more frustrating really than I thought it would be. Uh, if you look online at the reviews, I, I would agree with them. When you first buy this thing, you think it's a, it's a pretty good value for the money. You can easily pay well over $100 at the big box stores for a wheelbarrow. This one is made of a pretty heavy duty plastic. It's got good handles on it. It's got nice big tires on it, really pushes well. What I like probably the most about this wheelbarrow is the fact that it has dual tires on it. It's much more stable than, in my opinion, than a, than a single wheeled wheelbarrow. It's got the kick plates on the front and the back. It allows you to also store this wheelbarrow standing up pretty easily. It seems to hold water well if you've got liquids that you need to keep in it. It's got the cup holders on the handle. It's got other holes to put gardening tools in. And, and really, when you first buy this thing, it seems like a really good buy for the money. The problem comes in year, uh, some people say as, as early as right after the first season. I'm experiencing problems now going in on my second season. And the uh, problems become pretty apparent. The very first thing, I want you to notice is that it has started to warp. You can see here it's no longer level, the bucket itself. It, it leans to one side now. It, it's not level anymore, and it was when I first did it. I don't know if that's from the sun, from heat, just a quality issue, not sure. The most discouraging thing, though, is right underneath there. You'll see a lot of people's reviews on this wheelbarrow say that the biggest thing they don't like about it is the rust. While a lot of other people, other types of wheelbarrows, the problem seems to come in the bucket itself, damages easily, gets cracks or holes in it. This one really has held up really, really well. And um, we're going on two seasons, it's stored outside, the bucket, still no cracks in it, it's still watertight. But as you can see, the handle right there is almost completely rusted through. Uh, we'll turn this thing over. So you can see it a little better, and it's bad. Um, we've got rust there on the axle. We got some rust around the bolts. We got some rust where some abrasions have happened. That's all to be expected. But this right here, this is bad. The only thing holding this handle on are the bolts themselves. The metal is rusted all the way through. So this this wheelbarrow, really, if you loaded it down, that handle would go ahead and snap off. So that would be a safety hazard with this wheelbarrow. The rest of it looks good though. The, uh, the bucket itself looks good. Now I have had to replace one of the wheels. One of the wheels, like some people have mentioned uh, in their reviews, one of the wheels rusted and became unusable. You can see we've got rust developing on the, uh, the one existing wheel here. This one here is obviously the one I replaced last season, so it still looks okay. Um, but rust is gonna be an issue there too, so. You know, your first season, it's pretty good. If you don't mind buying a new wheelbarrow every one to two seasons, this may work out for you because the price is at least competitive or a little better than at the big box stores for other brands. But I've got to say, for something that, that really should last six, seven years, this doesn't last long at all. I went online to check, and at least right now, they're showing the warranty on these things is only 90 days. So that tells you something right there. If you're only willing to warranty an outdoor product like this for 90 days, then you know you've got quality control issues and you don't want to have to start taking these things back. So anyway, that's my review. If you like this review, if it helped you in any way, feel free to uh, please like this video, post comments down below. If you've got a brand of wheelbarrow that really works for you or you've got a story about this particular one you want to share, put them down in the comments below. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks.